so just quick test ride this one out with RB and we're test riding this one for a customer this is a Lexmoto Ranger and this one came in for some restorative work customer uh, basically got given this bike and then uh, it's required a new carb a new exhaust now I have no idea what this uh, donut is doing so I'm gonna so out on this test ride and um, we're just going to uh, check the bike all over now as I say it's had a new carb it's had a brand new exhaust on it it's been fitted with the Lextech alarm on this one so this has got the remote start hardwired into the ignition coil or ignition loom and it's got some funky little mirrors on it I do like these there's quite a lot of the road behind me and these tiny little mirrors so really really good so I'm going to take this out, obviously customer a second, just, just uh, see how it rides, check it all over. Also fit the top box to this one as we did with the last Ranger that was in for a restoration. Still down to me, give it a coat of ACF 50 before it goes out and lo and behold I've just picked up a bit of summer rain. Uh, so I'll just wait for this car to clear. Now obviously this one's in blue and just 2,790 miles on the clock this has been sat in someone's garden for a couple of years so we have a new battery on it and it's had quite a, quite a little bit of work done on it but I do like the idea that they've done here the little yellow things 30 mile an hour 50 I mean 70 so wherever that needle points you know that you haven't got to keep doing this looking down at the clocks all the time very very easy to look down so we're just going to take this one out and give it a run just see what uh, the performance on this is like it pulls lovely no choke on this as well it's got manual choke but obviously when the customer brought it in it would only run on choke we've changed the carb out put a brand new uh, Arizona carb on it or a range of carbs should I say but they are the same carbs so just pulling it through the box giving it some beans I keep forgetting these Lex Motors are a, a five speed box so obviously bringing the revs up and we are at 60 mile an hour woohoo and it's holding it very very well yeah it does what it says on the tin nice steady uh, 60 down the dual carriageway we're going to get a couple more miles on this obviously if you've got an older bike and you do need a bit of restoration the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles know exactly what they're doing and just checking this tyres out, the handling obviously this is for the customer's son he did not feed through these roundabouts really well and obviously this is a cruiser type so you wouldn't expect to get it over very very low but obviously I know breakaway points on tyres but just look at the lean on that front wheel <laughs> It does lean excessively well. Fourth gear corner that one. A nice steady 35 and it leans exceptionally well. You can't even feel any breakaway from the tyre so it's got some good rubber on it. Obviously I'm sitting at 40 mile an hour because that's what the speed limit is around here. But look at this little bike. Can't believe how good this is. I absolutely love these old Arizonas, the Rangers, everything. And obviously with that top box on, you've got a little bit of extra storage at the back of the bike. And I'm just going to push it as hard as I can. Just look at the lean angle on the front of that bike. <laughs> it's literally like, you could crank this over like you do a super sports bike. I can't believe how good those little thin tyres are. And obviously I'm used to uh, knowing what the breakaway of a tyre is. You can, you can start to feel it coming up through the bars when you're starting to get near. But I'm not anywhere near the limit on these tyres. I do like that gear indicator that comes around the top. Fifth gear, 40 mile an hour. And I'm going to dive these brakes hard. 
look at that quick how quick that thing pulls up absolutely perfect I'm just working back through the box and that was a fifth gear clutch in hard down on the front end and braking on this is absolutely superb I could have shot the lights on yellow but I thought I'd just check the brakes on this absolutely perfect and uh, gauges everywhere all ad fashioned analog displays I love old analog displays I do like the new LEDs but I do like analog displays on these and if you happen to look in my rear mirror how close that car is to me We're going to do one more circuit. Giving it some beans, working that gearbox, cranking it over again. I cannot believe the road holding of this bike. Amazing. Just rev matching down that box. Super smooth on the gearbox on this. It's a really nice, crispy little gearbox on this. And even in fifth gear, low torque, it just folds into the roundabouts. Obviously, the new shape version of these is the Michigan, but uh, these older ones were absolutely superb. They were one of Lex Moto's best selling bikes. And obviously, if you've seen the ride test of the previous restoration we did on the uh, the black one that came in, it was an absolute rust bucket when it came in. It had been uh, left in the garden, chrome work had all gone rusty, and it's amazing what. Uh, happens when the vehicle technician with a bit of auto sole and a bit of elbow grease and a bit of dedication to his job how quick we can just bring these back to looking like brand new it just shows you obviously how good the Lex Moto range is Let's just wait for the uh, traffic to get out of the way we're going to do a little bit of urban this has got loads of beans though so obviously the customer was like, can you just check out what it's like around town? Can you just give it a good long run? That's 60 amply. It's not got any misses or issues through the rev range. And obviously I'm using the full power band on this within limitations. And obviously that last thing I want to be doing is blowing the engine. But even at low torque, the best thing to do on a bike is to check if there are any issues is to get it in about 4th or 5th gear and put the power on, make the engine work to turn over so that is exactly what I'm going to do in a second first, second, third, fourth, fifth really low torque, just over 2-3000 rpm and just dial the power on and that's not coughing and spluttering, it picks up very very good exactly like it should oh, I do love these I'm having such a blast on this little 125 I've not had so much fun in, since I rode the uh, Tiger the other day 125 and I'm absolutely having a hoot of a time this is such good fun obviously I wouldn't go sell by 750 but uh, I can see why uh, the younger riders absolutely love these old Lex Moto bikes and they're like, oh, I picked up a second-hand Lex Moto. You've got to go and get one of these. And I can see the appeal in it. It is absolutely superb. It does everything it says on the tin. Just works through that little gearbox up in the fifth gear. 
30 mile an hour. I'm going to have one final blast down the dual carriageway, and obviously that'll be my uh, five mile test ride because I've done ride circuit four, obviously staying close to home. But what fun I've had having a test ride on one of these. Obviously this was just to check that the uh, engine was all running fine, it didn't have any misfire issues, we fitted a top box, we've had a new carb, it's had a tank clean, it's had loads of work done to it, the guys have given it a nice little clean. I've just got to ACF 50 this when I get it back. customer gets his bike back, his son is going to have such a wonderful time. So, start using the revs. Up into fourth, up into fifth, and dial the power on. I'm already at 50. And that's at 60, sitting at just over 7,000 RPM, 60 mile an hour. That's good enough for me, I'm going to back that off. No issues whatsoever, bring it back down to 50 mile an hour. Purpose of test riding, it's all about test riding, it's not about uh, how fast can you rag a customer's bike. So staying within my limitations, top end of 60 was achieved, obviously there was plenty more there. So I will leave that up to the customer to find out uh, what his top speed is, but for the purposes of ride testing, 60 is good enough for me. So another restoration done by the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles on 01908-643603. If you enjoyed the video leave your comments below. Let's uh, hear what old bikes that you had. Like and subscribe, smash the notifications bell and if you've had as much fun as I have on this bike if you've really enjoyed the video pop across to my webpage uh, revbomb.co.uk Eclipse Motorcycles are on the first page, my social media is on the back page, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. If you have enjoyed it as much as I did, I've got a huge great grid across my face this afternoon, loving it. And until the next time guys though, be well, ride safe and from RB, it's a big smiley, buzzy goodbye from me, take care.